I'm KT Bradford. This is the Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition, and this video is about how to remove some of the widgets and apps that come preloaded on this. And this video was requested by YouTube user Anzatsi, I hope I said that right, um, who is displeased with all of the different widgets and boxes and icons that come preloaded on this tablet. It does look a little bit ugly and haphazard, but that's partly my fault because I wasn't making it look really pretty. Like if you look at this screen, this is pretty nice. It has some nice widgets, um, some, you know, nice content, and they're well designed. But say you don't want any of those widgets. You don't want this weather widget or, you know, these this other stuff. Or you want to get rid of some of these icons they have just popped up on your screen. Here's how to remove them. Um, and this is, some of this is the same as other Android tablets, some of this is specific to Samsung tablets, particularly this tablet. So to remove a widget, easy peasy, you tap and hold until the home screen does this thing and you see the little remove icon at the top, you slide the widget up to remove, and then it's gone. You can always get it back by going to the widgets tab, you know, this is the same you know, it's the App Store, Widgets tab is under here. That was the Weather Widgets, you can find it again. And if you want to put this widget or any other widget on, you just tap and hold here, and then you place on the screen. Let's try that again. There we go. It's, you also have to be sure to place it where there's actually an empty space, otherwise, as you saw, it won't show up. But we're going to get rid of that again, we don't like it. Another thing you can do is you can move widgets and icons from home screen to home screen. So again, same movement. And then slide it over to the edge and it will switch around. And one thing you'll notice here is that um, it's, Samsung is showing you all the different home screens and what's on them. So you'll be able to know if your widget or app is going to fit on a home screen even before you switch to it, which is really nice. And again, this is the same with these app icons. Tap and hold, move around, move from screen to screen. If you want an icon that's not on here but is in your overall app list, just go there, tap and hold, and place on the screen. Now, under the All Apps list, there are several apps that are preloaded. Um, there are a lot of Samsung apps, Galaxy apps, stuff to go with the uh, pen. Let's see, here's all the Google apps. There's a lot of apps on here. So, say you wanted to get rid of some of the apps, but you cannot always get rid of preloaded apps. You can't uninstall them. One thing you can do is you can hide them or turn them off. So let's just say Polaris Office 5. Don't want to look at that. Don't ever use that. We're Google Drive people all the way. So we don't even want to look at this. We want to get rid of it. Tap and hold. And then slide up to disable app. And that means that it's just going to be turned off. You're not going to see that icon again. See, it's disappeared from here. You're not going to see the icon. It's not going to take up any extra space other than the space that the actual program takes up. It's not going to be doing anything in the background. It is turned off. Okay, so say somewhere down the line you decide that Google Drive sucks, you don't want to have anything to do with it anymore, you want to go back to trying Polaris Office. Well, to find it again, you have to go into the settings, and Samsung has these settings, um, you know, divided off into different categories, connections, device, etc. Under general, there's application manager. Click the application manager and it also has um, some different categories downloaded, what's on the SD card, what's running, all your apps, and then turned off. And this is going to list all the ones that you've been like, nope, I don't want those anymore. And then you tap that and you can turn it back on again if you want to. Um, and so this is also, let's say if you wanted to turn an app off and you didn't want to do the dragging, sliding thing, you can also do it from here. Like, um, let's see. Let's find an app that's odious. Calendar, who wants that? Um, now, this is interesting. Some apps you can't turn off if they're core apps. Calendar is a core app in Android. So you're not gonna be able to turn that off. That is unfortunate. Um, it, well, it may not be unfortunate. Maybe you like calendars, but say Business Week Plus. If you're not using that, you can turn it off from here. 
So the majority of apps, preloaded apps can be turned off as long as they're not like core Android apps, say, you know, you know, calendar, calculator, etc. Um, but some of the ones that, and that Samsung has preloaded on here, you can turn off. You just can't uninstall them, unfortunately. So that is a uh, just real quick demo of how to get rid of widgets, how to move widgets, how to put icons and widgets on your home screen, how to take them off, and how to hide the ones that you do not like. Uh, if you have any more requests for how-to videos for this tablet or any other Android tablet, please let me know uh, on the channel. And this has been KT Bradford here with the Galaxy Note 10.1. 2014 edition, taking a look at getting rid of stuff.